Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. So today I'm going to talk about film speed or camera sensitivity as it relates to film and as it relates to digital photography. Now, I have to explain a couple things before we can get into what I want to talk about. So back in the 80s when I started into photography, if you went out to buy a roll of a 100 speed film, you would go out and ask for 100 ASA film. Well, around the mid 80s to the late 80s, there was a change from ASA to ISO. ASA stood for American Standard Association and ISO stood for International Standard Organization. Lots of rumors as to why the change happened. Some people said it was the pharmacy companies that wanted ASA taken off of film. Some people said it was the world organizations that didn't want an American standard of reflected all over the world. There was a lot of stuff. But for guys like me, it just got confusing. So a roll of 100 speed film, one day was called 100 ASA, the next day was called 100 ISO. It changed nothing with the film other than those three letters. Didn't change the quality, didn't change the speed the film was, didn't change anything. But they just changed those three letters to confuse guys like me. Then when digital photography came out, the camera manufacturers thought that they would be smart, which they were, and keep the same rating system for digital cameras. So you can today set your digital camera at 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 6400, 25,800. You can set it at a whole bunch of different settings. And what that is, is you're setting the ISO of the camera. So what does ISO actually mean and do? It gets confusing from here, but it gets simple really fast. Basic way to explain it is, the lower the number of the ISO, the lower the number of you've set in your camera for the sensitivity, the more light it needs and the less grain or the less noise that you get when you take an image. The higher the number that you set or that you pick for film, the less light you need to take an image. So if I was to shoot a picture with this 25 ISO film in here and tried hand holding my camera and I did not use a flash in the dark studio in here, it's going to be a blurry picture. There won't be much grain to it, but it'll be blurry. If I take the same roll of film outside right now in the bright sunshine and take a picture of the building across the street and I hold my camera correctly, this film will look amazing at 25 ISO. It will, the speed will be perfect. And because it's a slower speed film, you will get less grain or less noise on the film. As you go up in numbers from 25 to 100 to 400 to 800 to 1600 to 3200, you need less light to take the images. So that's why in the film days, you'd walk into a camera place and you would say, I need a roll of film. And they'd say, what speed of film do you need? They were asking you, what ISO do you need? And most people went, eh. And they would say, what are you taking pictures of? Some inside pictures, some outside pictures, some here, some there. And they would say, you probably want a 400 ISO film. If you went in and said, I'm shooting my daughter's graduation ceremony in a dark gymnasium. They would say, you probably want 800 or 1600 speed film because it will record the image with the less light in the room. If you said I was going out to take pictures of a mountain and I want to make a huge print from it, they would tell you to shoot a slower speed film and use a tripod. So. Film speed has purposes and has reasons. Slower the film, the lower the number. The faster the film, the higher the number. Now, in film photography, that was dictated by the silver halide technology or the technology that was embedded in the film that captured the light. The smaller 
the size of the silver halide particles, the less light they could record. The larger the size of those particles, the more light they could record in the same amount of time. The problem was, when you recorded them with the higher speed film, your pictures looked grainy. Looked like somebody had poured salt over the picture of different colors, and that's how the picture was painted, shall we say. And whereas lower speed, it looked like it was painted with a brush and it was really smooth and the colors, there was no dots or no grain or anything within the colors. So that's what film speed is. With digital cameras, it's the same thing. The benefit with digital cameras though is we're not limited, limited to the silver halide technology. We use sensors to capture the images and we can make sensors that are more sensitive to light by using different technologies, newer technologies, different techniques, different processors, and so on and so forth. So we're not limited by the same problems, shall we say, as what film was limited to. But in your digital camera, your film speed or your ASA or your image sensitivity or your camera sensitivity works the same way. The lower the number, the more light you need to take a picture. The higher the number, the less light you need. Now, this also affects your shutter speed and your aperture, but I'm not gonna to touch on that this time. The future video, I'll put all this together. Today, I just wanna talk about your ASA or your camera sensitivity or your image sensitivity or your ISO or whatever you wanna call it. Depends how old you are and how fussy you are. Now, it works the same on film and on a digital camera. The good news is, is that over time, our ISO has actually gotten better for the higher speeds. And by better, I mean it's got less grainy the higher the speed that you go. As an example, one of my first digital cameras, when I shot that, I would not go above 200 ISO. I refused to because at 400, the grain was so bad, I could not, I could not sell a picture and feel good about it with that digital camera. Today, I'm shooting at 3200 ISO or ASA or sensitivity or whatever you want to call it with my new digital cameras and it looks better than that first camera I got at 100 ISO. So that's one of the benefits that's happened. We can shoot faster speeds and we get less grain. Now, still today, if you're going to blow a, bit, a picture up big, you should use the slower the speed that you can possibly use without getting a blurry picture. The problem that people get is they go down so low that their image becomes blurry, the subjects move, the photographers move, the image is blurry, there's no sense having a completely grainless image or noiseless image if it's a digital picture if the picture is blurry. So you need to weigh off the speed as well as the sharpness. You don't wanna go so slow that the picture is blurry. You don't wanna go so fast that the picture is grainy or noisy. I know, it's pretty confusing. One last note on digital cameras. On digital cameras, when you get them, the camera sensitivity, the ASA, whatever you wanna call it, is set to auto. Please take it off auto. Set it manually. So set it to 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600. Why do I say to do this? Well, if you really want to learn photography, if you want to have control on your pictures, setting your ASA yourself is a great way to start. Now, I'm not saying you can never set it to auto, but I'm saying when you're learning photography, set it to manual and learn what it does and how it reacts to shutter speed and aperture. Once you have those down, then you can start experimenting, then you can go back to using the auto, then you understand what you're getting from that. But start out with it on manual. It'll tax you a bit more, it'll challenge you a bit more, it'll make you miserable sometimes, but at least you'll be learning. So until next time, have a great day, 
Get out there, take some amazing pictures, whether you're shooting on ISO, ASA, image sensitivity, camera sensitivity, you get the idea. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a great day.